What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we're going to talk about Peter B. Parker and if this is a character that you should be unlocking or not what, have been, what has been my experience with this character and the team as a whole so far that we only have three characters available and give you the, the prospects of what you should do in terms of this team. We had the, the videos from the envoys, the videos from the envoys were not clear enough on how good this team was, unless you have these characters maxed out at level 100 and so on. Six all stars and, and plus, uh, I think that is not, unreason is not reasonable. So I'm going to tell the experience that I had so far and uh, we're also going to talk about the event, the unlock event for this guy. We already have the data mines for it and it's going to be a very, very complex event. It's going to be one of those. So as always, if you like information on these videos, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more Mouse Life Force content and make sure you smash that like button like a boss. Okay, so Peter B. Parker is part of the new Spider Society team, the new skill raid team that you have to use in your raids. Right now, the, the skill section is the last section of the current raids that we have, Incursion 2. But you can expect in six months from now to have a new raid. And then on that new raid, the skill nodes are probably going to be up front because that's how usually Scopely does things. And uh, with this team, the team does not work as a three piece so far. I tried with Nick Fury, I tried with the Black Cat, I tried with the Black Knight as well, a few combos different abilities first and second and so on and unfortunately the team simply does not work as a three piece it's just way too slow and because of that uh, well uh, it's not a good investment right now so if you are going to buy this character understand that he will bring you zero value to your account today very very low value maybe in cosmic crucible you can uh, use these death proofs or something with tangle web maybe you can do that but beyond that it's not a good investment so keep that in mind if you buy the character it's not going to bring anything to the table right now other thing that uh, is a problem with this character is that uh, he applies a lot of negative effects, very important negative effects like offense down and disrupt, but uh, the focus of this character, and not only this character, but as the whole, the entire team, they have very, very trash focus. It seems like these negative effects don't want to land, and if the enemies have some kind of evades like the, the Gwen pools that we face in the nodes or the, the Spider-Man big times, you are still not going to land those negative effects. So keep that in mind. Make sure that you clear the evades away before you spread negative effects or anything like that. So overall, keep your expectations in check. This guy is not going to help you out until you get Spider-Man Pavid, right? Until you get this guy, the team is just way too slow and uh, they are not able to do anything just because of that. Like the biggest problem of this team is literally the slow. Now, other problem that you might have is the energy. For energy, you're gonna require Penny Parker, but she might not, she might not be necessary and you might be able to use this team as a four piece. We'll see about that in the future if it's gonna be the case or not. But if you manage your cooldowns, you might be able to to use this team with uh, with just the four base characters. So with the uh, Spider-Man Noir, with Ghost Spider, with Peter B. Parker, and with the uh, Spider-Man India. So that's it. Now, in terms of uh, the eyes away, once again, just to finish this topic. I think you should use most of these characters as skirmishers. There are some characters that or provide speed bar or provide energy. Those characters, you need to use them as strikers. Yes, I know these guys have more crit chance and so on. But once again, if you're going to have this team at the low stars, if you are free to play and so on, and you're going to put Raider as a weight on them, the team is not going to work. You're going to struggle, you're going to fail and that's not going to be good. So make sure that you apply Skirmisher to them. We'll have a future video breaking down uh, 
the ISO weight and the T force for each of these characters and see which ones you need, which ones you don't. But keep that in mind already. Yes, they have raid bonuses, raider bonuses, or crit bonuses, crit chance, crit damage, and so on. But if you don't have the focus, if they fail to apply those offense downs, the stuns, the disrupts, and the slows, and so on, you're really going to struggle with this team. Okay, so with this said, let's take a look on how you're going to be able to unlock this guy in the very near future. And once again, if you are a, a paying player, if you buy the character offers early on, you might want to skip this guy because his event is coming up soon. And until you have the Spider-Man India, the team doesn't work at all. So you are better off using your invaders. And uh, then only when you have the full team, they are really going to start working, right? But once again, it's re really going to depend on the size. Final thing I want to say before we take a look at uh, the the upcoming event for this guy is that you can test drive this team on the the new event that we have loose threads the problem is that this team is at seven yellow six red and uh, it's an exaggeration of uh, the characters that you're gonna play with right most people will have a three yellow maybe four yellow for red characters so what you can experience here on the test drive is very very misleading so keep that in mind the team is not as good as it seems here and uh, my feedback and the feedback from other people is that even what they do here is not very impressive so keep all of that in mind okay so with all that said let's take a look on how to unlock the spider-man b parker in the very near future okay so here we are taking a look at the data mines on how to unlock peter b parker this is going to be a very complex event so we're going to take a look at all the points but then we're going to do a recap so you can hopefully understand everything that uh, it's going to be necessary this is going to be a very complex event and peter b parker is part of uh, the anchor of the team so yeah it's going to be important for you to be successful on this event so the name of the event is earthlings needed and this is going to be a seven day event where you have to spend campaign energy and obtain planetary orbs there are other secondary means of obtaining progress towards this event and those means are going to be spending campaign isolate energy on the hard difficulty so only on the hard difficulty and only on selected nodes and also you'll have to blitz there will be a specific blitz that allow you to get the void knight character shards and on top of that you're also going to get the points towards this event for peter b parker so it's a four way let's say it four way event it's an event within the event within the event it's one of those very convoluted events that uh, is going to be very difficult to keep up with so as a recap once again earthlings needed is going to be the event for peter b parker unlocked you are going to have to spend the campaign energy during seven days though during those seven days we'll also have a two day only isolate campaign energy on the art difficulty where on specific nodes you can get planetary orb fragments and then after those two days of spending eyes away you'll have two days of non-stop bleeds they even call it the revenge of bleeds because how hardcore it's going to be where you're going to get character shards for void knight but it will give you points towards this event to unlock peter b parker so it's a little bit complex Make sure you stay tuned to the channel so when the event is going on we'll be able to keep up with it and also i have a new list of the best blitz teams so you can use also on this revenge of the blitz event okay so those are all the data mines that we have so far for the peter b parker unlock once again on his own he cannot carry the other spider society characters but he's going to be an anchor on the team because he brings everyone together with all the buffs that he gives on spawn and so on. So there you go, guys. Peter B. Parker. How useful he is right now without the rest of the team. How to unlock him in the very near future. Once again, very complex event where you have to spend yellow campaign energy, where you'll have to spend isolate campaign energy, where you'll have to blitz where you have to collect daily free claims so it's going to be one of those very complex events so make sure you don't miss out and once again 
he does not carry the team but he's going to be an anchor on that team as soon as you have the whole team or at least as soon as you have ghost spider spider-man noir and spider-man india and spider-man b parker make sure you stay tuned to the channel as soon as spider-man india will be available we'll try this team once again to see if they work as a four piece or not as long as you are managing your energy and uh, and then is, we have to make the decision if it's going to be if it's still going to be important to unlock uh, Penny Parker for the energy, or if you can just do it with the uh, Ghost Spider. But that's something for the future. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. And if you found the video helpful, make sure to share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Mouse Force content. And I'll catch you guys later.